What's up YouTube, Georgia Silver Hunter here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're an old friend of the channel, welcome back. Today I wanted to spend a little time talking about silver and gold purchases. So I was doing a live stream earlier this week and somebody asked me if I stack silver and the answer is of course I do. But looking back at my channel, I haven't done a tried and true silver stacking video in months. And it just so happened that this weekend, a friend of mine emailed me, who I got into buying a little bit of gold and silver last year, pinged me and said, you know, I've got about 1000 to 1100 bucks to spend, you know, two to $300 on silver, the rest on gold, what should I get? And I thought this was a great opportunity to talk to you beginner stackers, you folks that are thinking about getting into buying your first silver or gold, or maybe you already have a little bit and you're looking to add to the stack. I thought we could spend some time today looking at how I look at precious metals from the various online bullion dealers that are out there and how I make decisions on what I'm going to buy. So there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind is that there's a lot of reasons to stack precious metals. Um, I'm not going to cover all of the different reasons why today. But typically, you're, you're going to fall into one of four buckets. You know, you're a stacker, you're a flipper, you're a collector, or you're a prepper. Today, we're going to talk about stackers, right? These are people that are buying precious metals to, uh, try to try to hedge against inflation, right? To put some of their money in something that's going to hold its value over time. And uh, something that they might be able to pass on uh, to their family in the future. Or again, just, just hold on to that wealth and hopefully it increases over time versus decreasing like our fiat currency is every day. So with that said, let's get over to the computer. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of the, the tools and resources that I use. And I'm going to let you know for this guy's money, the $1,000 to $1,100 with the split that he asked, how I would spend his money if it were mine. Let's get into it. So the first thing we want to talk about is the fact that a stacker should be aiming to get the most amount of silver for the least amount of money. Now I know that seems like a really simple principle, but as we get into looking at some of these online bullion dealers at different gold, different gold and silver, uh, coins, rounds, bars, etc., there's something called a premium that's attached to every type of uh, coin, round, or bar. Right? So the higher the premium, the more over spot price you're paying, which means you're paying more money for less gold or silver. Right? So a stacker should be trying to find stuff that adds weight to their stack at the least cost or the least premium. So to understand premiums a little bit, the first thing we should always do before we start looking is to understand what is today's spot price or the going price for one ounce of silver or gold per troy ounce. And a I'm going to show you two really great utilities online that I use all the time. Even when I coin roll hunt, I look at these things. Uh, so coinflation.com is one. On the homepage, it does show you what is the, the price of silver today. It's at $25.83. It was down big time this morning. Uh, today is June 29th. Uh, and gold was also way down to 1762. And just a week or two ago, it was up near, I want to say upper 1800. So now is actually a great time to be looking to buy some silver and gold. But I like Coinflation because they have two sections, or really three sections here, where you can get into gold coins, silver coins, and proof sets to very quickly see what is the metal content value of those particular coins. So I spend a lot of time here being a coin roll hunter because I find Franklin half dollars all the time or Washington quarters. Well, not all the time. I found four the other day and that was pretty cool. Um, I do buy and sell peace dollars and Morgan dollars from time to time, right? And American silver Eagle is a great example. This is one troy ounce of silver. So it should match spot price. So this is a great resource, whether you watch the rest of this video or not. Um, I keep this up all the time. Another really cool resource is, uh, and let me back up to show you the homepage, is coin apps. And this is great, especially if you're a penny hunter, right? Uh, I use this for pennies all the time. I want to know, you know, I got 1,200 grams of pennies that are copper. I can come in here and say my total grams of, of, of pennies, you know, 1,200 grams, that's actually $10.59. So uh, I'm a little off topic here, but it's also great for doing silver, 
It has all the major coin values in here. So if you're going online to an online bullion dealer and you see a roll of half dollars for $234 on sale and you think that's a great deal, well, a roll of half dollars, 90%, uh, 20 of them, is $186.49 worth of silver today at $25.78. So at 234, it may be on sale at that online bullion dealer, but that is a huge premium they're getting on you. Okay, so that's why I say these are two great apps to have in your back pocket, so that you know the silver content and the value of that silver of the things you're trying to buy. The next place that you should always start, uh, and again I say start, is findbullionprices.com. This is a great place to look across the online landscape of bullion dealers to see who has the best advertised deals. And this is the one caveat I'll get about, give you about fine bullion prices, is that it's only as good as the data it gets and how quickly it's updated. So this should give you a good overview of the, the big dealers and what their prices are, but you should always dig into each dealer before you, you buy something. And we're going to do that today so you can see what I'm talking about. So today, though, we want to get uh, the best silver we can per ounce. And you'll see over here on the left, they have a little, little button for cheapest silver per ounce. So we're going to pull this up and keep in mind that cheapest silver per ounce usually is going to come in bar form or in constitutional or junk silver, typically. Not always. So don't be surprised when you click on this if you always see 1,000 ounce bars or kilo bars or 100 ounce bars or 10 ounce bars always at the top. What I like about this is that the chart tells you your premium, so what you're going to pay per troy ounce over spot to get to the value or the price that the bullion dealer is going to give you. So we're going to scroll down until we find something that might be interesting. 40% uh, silver half dollars at $3.30, $3.30 over spot, I would never recommend in a million years. Uh, I think towards the end of this video I'll show you guys how you can get uh, or where you should be looking to get great deals on constitutional silver. So in editing this, I realized that I didn't put enough value on these 35% silver war nickels and these silver half dollars, because if the point is to get the most weight for the least amount of money, one could argue I should have just loaded up my cart just stock full with 35% silver war nickels. Um, I think that's a fair argument. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Would you have gone with that versus what I ended up doing at the end of this video? Uh, a silver stacker? A 10 ounce bar to a 5 ounce bar is not a bad investment. $292.79 for a 10 ounce Silvertown Buffalo Silver Bar works out to $29.27 per troy ounce. And if we come back here, silver spot price was $25.83. So uh, their chart is, is officially right. It is, or at least it's very close, a little over $3.39 per ounce. Keep in mind it's a 10-ounce bar, so 10 times $3.39 means you were paying $33.90 over spot in total for this bar. Um, it is what it is, but this is going to be one of the cheapest ways to get silver. So let's just put this in our back pocket. If we can find silver rounds or one ounce silver bars for around $29.20, that might be a better deal because then you can get some varieties of things, some smaller pieces that you can easily break up and trade or sell later on because not everybody collects big bars. But uh, for a stacker, this is not, you know, this, this is something that should draw your eye. So here we go, moving on down, generic one ounce silver rounds from Silver Gold Bull for $29.77. So this is the first one we want to look at. Let's go ahead and click into it. Uh, Monument Metals is right behind them with $29.94. SD Bullion not far behind with $30.47. Golden State Mint, so on and so forth. So this is where I would start. $29.77, around $30. Find one ounce coins in that range that, that come from a, a dealer that's in this list. All the people in this list are going to be reputable dealers. Um, I've bought at most of them. 
So don't be afraid to purchase from any of these guys. So once you've kind of zeroed in on what it is you're looking for, I recommend picking five to maybe seven of those dealers and digging in on their website to see if you can find those particular rounds. Um, I also always start by going into the deal section. Right, so here's the 10 ounce silver bar. We talked about it was 2,900 and something, or 290, I forget, where was it? Let's go back. Let's just see what fine bullion prices said. And I realize I'm on a different site, but their 10 ounce bar that I was comparing it to was $292. You'll see here at SD Bullion, they've got it for 296. So it's actually about $4 more for a similar bar on sale at SD Bullion. Um, something else to pay attention to on all these sites is that most of the time you want to get free shipping. So pay attention to what your minimum order is because every dollar you spend on shipping is a dollar wasted on a precious metal or a dollar wasted that could have been spent on a precious metal. So let's just look. We'll go to our one ounce silver rounds. In here you can see, and this is one thing I don't like about our online bullion dealers, is they always say things like as low as, which means you have to buy quantity typically to get that number. So when you hover in SD Bullion, you'll get the full prices. So while it's as low as $29.57, if you only get one, you're spending $30.47. $30.47. right? So really, depending on the quantity you get, you're actually going to be spending a bit more than that $29.80 or $29.20 or whatever you have. And that's why I say sometimes the bars are the better way to go. Um, but this is how you can also set your bar. I like these Silver Freedom Rounds, or I like these Buffaloes, so $30.57. So we're going to move on to the next big player, JM Bullion. Uh, and we're just going to repeat this process of looking and comparing. And the average stacker shouldn't care, per se, what the rounds look like. It should matter that it's one troy ounce of silver. Now, for me, I have a little bit of collector in me. So, you know, if... if, if these three coins are the same price and I'm getting three things, I'll get one of each. Not because I'm getting more silver, but if they're the same price, I just like having different coins. As you could see from my intro video, I have a lot of different variety of coins. Uh, unfortunately, JM makes you drill in and you can see they're in the same boat, right? So we're $29.87 if we buy 500, but we're actually at $30.77 for a one ounce bar and we were $30.47 for SD Bullion. 30.57 uh, for a similar round. So for 20 cents, SD Bullion is winning. Uh, the other thing that may sway me to spend 20 cents more on a round is if JM Bullion was saying maybe $99 and over for free shipping, right? So moving on down the line, another one of my favorites here is Monument Metals. So we're going to go in, we'll dig into our rounds. And let's just look at the Buffalo since that's what we've kind of been comparing against. All right, here we go. Now we've beaten the $30. So here you can see $29.94 for a random secondary market in varied condition. A stacker should not care about condition. They should not. A lot of people do, though, even when they're stackers. So if you want, you know, pristine, barely uncirculated, et cetera, et cetera, this is a bad choice. Start moving on down the line. But you can see here, once we move beyond a, a round of their choice, you're right back to the $30 and 70 something cents, 50 something cents. So really, SD Bullion, JM Bullion, and Monument Metals, outside of these two, it's a tie. So now we're going to check out Provident Metals. Same situation, a lot of as low as conversation in here. We're still at $30.78. Let's do the any condition, $30.58. So I would not be using Provident Metals for rounds. So I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I'll pull them up and show you. But I also look at Silver Gold Bull, and I look at Hero Bullion. And last but not least, I look at Apmex. Apmex typically is going to have the most expensive uh, premiums of anybody online, typically got to shop their deals, you got to shop their sales, you got to keep an open eye. And that's why I always look at across all the vendors because you never know what they're going to be doing um, that's going to be advertised. 
The other thing you should do is always sign up for their mailing list because they launch all new deals on like Mondays and Tuesdays and you get emailed those deals. Uh, and actually I forgot one, Money Metals Exchange. Uh, this is one I think I've made one purchase from. If I recall, you can find some really good deals here, but you really have to pay attention. Um, a lot of times they're a little bit pricier than everybody else, but that's been my experience and I've only bought from them once. So if I'm wrong about that, apologies. So I wanna bring you guys back to Monument Metals and, and I was going through showing you the one ounce rounds and I clicked on deals and this is something we would have missed had we not looked at the deals and I wanted to show you guys this because it's important. Here is a one ounce silver round. Uh, I think these are on pre-order, they are. They're $29.64 for any quantity. This is the best deal we've seen on an individual ounce of silver. And it's only slightly lower than buying the 10 ounce bar. So if it were my choice between buying a 10 ounce bar and buying 10 of these one ounce rounds and the difference was 50 cents or even two or three dollars, personally, I would get the 10 ounce rounds because you can break it up and sell it easier. They also have a 10 ounce Morgan Design bar that's exactly the same price per ounce as the, this uh, Buffalo. So right now, I would actually be leaning towards spending my money at Monument Metals. The other reason I show you this is sporadically last week in this deal section, they had uh, Austrian Philharmonics for like $3.99 over spot. So that meant you could get a government-backed coin, which we haven't talked about, for like $30.50 or $30.78. And those coins are a little bit more highly desirable because they are government backed. They actually are worth money in the country that issues them. Now, granted, it's usually a fraction of the silver content, but because they're backed by a government, they are morally highly, more highly sought after and typically carry a premium with them, even on resale, much higher premium than generic silver. So if you get a chance to choose between a standard round and a government backed coin and the difference is 25 or 50 cents. And I know I said stackers should be looking at least amount of, or most amount of silver for least amount of money. It's something you need to look at. If you can get government backed coins for just a little bit more, it's well worth it. I know a lot of, a lot of stackers out on YouTube who will gladly buy slightly damaged or call American silver eagles over generic silver simply because they're silver eagles and people will pay more for them on resale. Uh, cull, I know I just threw that word out kind of uh, nonchalantly. Cull basically means like damaged beyond, you know, grading. It means it's, it's, it's well circulated, has a lot of damage on it. Um, you know, that's the best way to describe it. Um, so, you know, cull stuff is a great way to just add silver to your stack. Um, I'm just scrolling down here to see what I see. Uh, here's a really good example of a government-backed coin, American Silver Eagles. Hopefully, this isn't your first time seeing an American Silver Eagle. The U.S. Uh, $1 silver coin. $36.86 is not a bad price these days, but it's over $10 over spot. Actually, it's almost $11 over spot. So imagine this being on sale for just three or four dollars over spot, you should get this all day long because right now the premiums on these things start at 10 or 11 dollars, even in after aftermarket. And that's why I say you have to look at government backed coins. So based on what I told you, if if I if if my buddy gave me 300 bucks to spend and it was it was my money, right now I would lean very, very heavily towards getting 10 of these Buffalo rounds or looking somewhere like an SD bullion um, and buying a couple of different varieties if I were somebody that had to scratch that collector itch for as cheaply as possible. So I would be looking at, you know, these, these freedom rounds, again, a Buffalo, maybe a sunshine round. Uh, and I'm not saying I would necessarily look at SD bullion, but I would look at wherever I could get a little bit of variety cheaply. But based on my rules, if it were my money today, I would just get 10 of these, right? two to three hundred dollars worth of these so uh, ten would be right at that three hundred dollar mark the other thing you'll see on all these online bullion dealers is that there's a wire price and a credit card and PayPal price and even sometimes a Bitcoin price always pay with wire and check if you can because again any overage over that you are just wasting money that could be spent on more silver 
Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, I do buy gold and so I buy silver anyway with Bitcoin, but that's because I view Bitcoin as make-believe money right now, um, and I have a miner in my house, so I'm basically getting more Bitcoin every day that, that as time goes by. So, you know, every couple of weeks, I'll go drop two or three hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin on uh, silver because it, it, it's, to me, make-believe money. And we can argue crypto in another video, but uh, just throwing that out there. Always try to pay the wire and check price. So that leaves us, let's say he only gave us $1,000 and I got 10 of these. That leaves me with $700. Well, guess what? For gold, we're going to play the exact same game. So what we're going to do here and fast forward is go back and play the same game we did with silver, but with gold. And I do it to a limited number of like two or three sites. Um, we do start looking at like gold eagles and gold buffaloes uh, simply because they're, they're pretty highly sought after, but they carry a very high premium. So if you're just trying to stack a little gold, it may not be the best thing to target on your first go. Another thing to be aware of is that not all gold coins come, are, are created equal in that some are three and four nines fine gold and some are like 0.9175 gold, right? So 91 or 92% gold. Like the American Gold Eagle, it, it, it's that 91.75% gold. Um, so anyway, after looking at a lot of different things and based on the amount of money we have left, we settled on a quarter ounce of gold. The Canadian Maple Leafs were the starting point. We could get that down to $490 and change. And so what I'm doing right here is looking at a couple other government-backed gold coins that are three or four nines fine to see if we can do better. So where we end up landing is at Monument Metals, which is where our silver is, which is fantastic, and we land on the Philharmonics. So 492, here we go, right here. View cart and check out. We've spent $789.17, and we've got 10 ounces, of silver and we have a quarter ounce of gold and you know what if we were going to spend a thousand dollars I would probably go in and buy a little bit more silver to get me to a thousand but this is a good starter kit for somebody I think right here uh, silver's way down we have a very low premium this is a great piece of gold for about as low as I think you're gonna get so anyway this has probably been a little lengthy for people I'll do my best to edit it down but this is how I go about figuring out what I'm going to buy. And if I were going to spend $1,000 today and weight was my, was my goal, I would, I would play with these numbers until I had, it's going to be about 18. Oh, I'm a little over, so we got to do 17. So there you go, $996.96. And I got 17 ounces of silver and a quarter ounce of gold. The other thing you could do is actually have backfilled that with a tenth ounce of gold, but I can also tell you that that tenth ounce, the premium on that's gonna be really, really high. So for me today, I would say put that into silver. Uh, but this is what I would do. And uh, keep in mind when you order from one of these online bullion dealers and you pay by check, it's gonna take them three to five days for the check to clear. It'll take them a day or two to get it in the mail, and then anywhere from three to five days to get to you. So it's not uncommon unless you pay for expedited shipping for a, a check by, uh, you know, an online check or an ACH type transaction online for it still to take two weeks for you to get your precious metals. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you today for your online bullion dealers. And I would be remiss if I didn't take a second to point out uh, to get the most bang for your buck, Facebook and Reddit and honestly, Instagram, which I don't have pulled out, pulled up, are also great places to find amazing deals on gold and silver. Uh, I didn't pull up any specific deals right now. I just kind of wanted to pull up Facebook so you could see it. Uh, there's tons of groups. I'm a, This is uh, my actual Georgia Silver Hunter account. And I'm a part of a number of different stacker groups, collectible pennies, gold and silver seekers. Uh, all kinds of stuff out there that I just kind of peruse throughout the day of people selling stuff. So here's, you know, I think this guy is uh, selling silver shot. Um, here's somebody selling some Aztec coins, it looks like. Uh, and he wants 33 each for these rounds, which means he actually wants a pretty good premium. Uh, but there's a, you can find a lot of really cool stuff out here. I found silver at Spot on Facebook. With premiums up so high, even in private sales, 
be prepared to spend uh, some premium. All right, I've seen. Well, the other thing I will tell you on on both Reddit and Facebook is they are policed fairly well for scammers. That that said, there are still lots of scammers out there. So before you send payment to anyone, make sure you ask for references. Actually, talk to those references. And I would recommend, if possible, doing a small deal first to see if you have a good experience and then move up to bigger deals once you establish relationships with people. So with that said, I'm going to end it here. This has probably been a much longer video than I anticipated, but I wanted to try to be thorough. And uh, just to recap, what I would have bought if it were me for my $1,000 is a quarter ounce of gold and as much silver as I could get for the remaining money that I had. So on this very quick exercise that I didn't spend a bunch of time, I literally looked at this real time with you guys. I did not do a bunch of research before I hit the record button. Um, I was able to quickly find silver under $30 an ounce, and I found what I think to be an okay deal for a quarter ounce of gold. Maybe I could beat that if I looked around a little bit more, but I probably wouldn't do as well on the silver. So here's your $1,000 spent. So anyway, I hope you learned something today. I hope you like this video. If you're still with me all the way here to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And it means you, this, you found this content really interesting. So please give me a thumbs up if you do, because I haven't done this type of content in a long, long time. And if you want to see more of it, I think giving me that like button in the comments down below as encouragement will just make me do more of this type of video. So if you haven't already, please, while you're down there leaving the like, click on that subscribe button and then click on that bell and select all so you get notified every time I release a new video uh, because that's what just makes me want to, you know, getting you guys come watch this stuff just makes me want to keep making it. And I just enjoy making YouTube videos. Love talking about gold and silver and coin roll hunting and all that good stuff. So anyway, you guys, thanks for coming. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.